Several hams have asked what is the meaning of SWR. Technically, it's standing wave ratio. In layman's terms, that's a good indication of how much power is going to your antenna and how much is not going to your antenna or being reflected back to the transceiver. Obviously, you want as much power going to the antenna as possible, meaning if you have an SWR rate, rating of 1.1 to 1, that means all of it is going to the antenna. 1.5 to 1 is still excellent. It's like you're having high 90%, 97% or so of your power going to the antenna and not being reflected back. Um, even SWR 2 to 1 is usable. It's not ideal, but uh, anything 2 to 1 and under is usable. Ideally, you want 1 to 1. Okay, I had a customer that uh, had a TW antenna and had our 40 meter uh, box for that. He couldn't get his SWR under 3 to 1. Well, I first checked on uh, his setup. Uh, did he have all the connections right? Was it assembled properly? Everything screwed tight on the antenna? And did he have the right length of coax? We're recommending 75 feet of coax and strung out. He was all right there. The second thing was, what was it next to? Was it sitting next to a metal building? That would detune the antenna. So, but it was in the open, and uh, he had all, everything right. So the next step, or the next thing you can do to lower your SWR and get that antenna to tune right is to open the box itself. There are screws that hold it together. And inside that box are several coils. These are tuning coils. And what you do to lower the resonant frequency is to squeeze the coils together. This creates more inductance and lowers the resonant frequency of the antenna. Uh, if you need to go up in frequency, you need to spread the coils apart. There are coils on the top and the bottom of this box, and you should match the top with the bottom. Okay, the best way to adjust the coils is to use an antenna analyzer because you may be high, you may have a high SWR, but you don't know without an analyzer whether it's uh, higher than the band or lower than the band. So you don't know which way to go. That is, uh, so my recommendation to this person was to do it in small increments and see what's happened. You know, he could have been, he could have pulled the coils way apart or squeezed them way together and been gone from the top end of the band way down to the bottom end and not knowing what he's doing. If you make small incremental changes, you'll either get closer or farther apart. So if you go farther away from, or you get a higher res SWR like four to one, you know you went the wrong direction. You should have squeezed them instead of pulling them apart. If you have a really good antenna analyzer, like our rig expert zoom models, you can do a graph on your analyzer showing where the SWR is on the entire band. So say you're three to one where you want to be, and it's actually one to one at the high end of the band. That's telling you you need to low, lower the resonant frequency. You can see that right on the graph. And as you leave that antenna analyzer on there, you could actually make an adjustment and go back and look at the antenna analyzer and you know what you've done without using your transceiver. So uh, really, it's a snap to adjust with a really good antenna analyzer like our rig expert zoom.